After you finish a campaign and get into more of the end game stuff, you're going to run into hell tides. These show up every other hour. They're basically on for an hour, off for an hour, and it's going to be a random location around the map. You'll see this red haze over that section of the map. That means a hell tide is active. They last for an hour. You can go over there and kill enemies, complete events, do a whole bunch of stuff in the open world. So other players are going to be around there and you're going to collect cinders. You use these cinders to then open chests that are in that area. These chests are targeted towards specific loot like boots or legs or gloves, one-handed weapons, jewelry, etc. However, what most people don't know is that there is actually a mystery chest or perhaps a couple mystery chests hidden around the Helltide that you can go find. We found two. If you found more than two in one Helltide, definitely leave a comment down below. But you're gonna wanna ride around on your mount in the Helltide as you're collecting these cinders and keep your eye open for these chests because they will not show up on the map until you get up close to them. So you're gonna wanna discover the locations of these, pin them, and then collect as many cinders as you can to open them. They cost 175 cinders, which is the most expensive expensive chest that I've seen so far, but once you open that chest, you are going to get some loot. You've got a lot of potions in there, you can get glyphs in there, and you're going to see a lot of legendaries, potentially some uniques. I've had really bad unique luck. I've actually only gotten one so far in addition to the guaranteed one. Let me know how many uniques you guys have gotten in the comments below, but you're going to want to grab this because it is some major, major loot. The Helltides also in general are a lot of XP. They're a lot of fun. You get a lot of loot and they're just really valuable at end game. So I would highly suggest heading over to those red shaded areas on the map whenever they pop up and spending a little time there opening some chests. And it's a good way to also target your loot. So if you have a couple pieces of gear that are lower and you wanna buff them up, you can do that. By the way, if you enjoy the background gameplay footage you're seeing of my Frost Sorcerer, then you can click on the card in this video or in the description and check out the build. I actually just made it to World Tier 4 today. I'm also going to be streaming Monday night for the full release and we are also going to have all of the drops on, including the mount. So if you're looking to get the mount cosmetic or any of the other cosmetics, I believe it's Necromancer and Rogue starting out for three hours. If you watch the Twitch channel, you can redeem those for free and link up with your battle net to redeem those rewards in game. So check me out over on twitch.tv slash abbeyhour. All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video and you get some awesome loot out of the mystery chest in the Helltides. If you did, let me know. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.